Yo, what is good, Jets fans? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about why I believe the New York Jets must sign veteran defensive tackle who is a free agent, Calais Campbell. Now, this would be an absolute big-time signing for the Jets' defensive line. Can you imagine Calais Campbell next to Quinn and Williams next year? I sure as hell can. So in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of why the New York Jets got to do everything in their power to bring in the veteran, the 36-year-old absolute monster that is Calais Campbell. Before I hop into the video, I do want to mention, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of Jets content coming your way all throughout the rest of the offseason. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a gigantic favor and hit that thumbs up button. And more importantly, comment down below your thoughts if you want Calais Campbell on the New York Jets. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you might have noticed that I did tweet out something that Calais Campbell did like a tweet from the New York Jets about them officially signing wide receiver Alan Lazard. Now, could that mean absolutely nothing? For sure. But I don't know. Calais Campbell's a free agent. He got cut from the Baltimore Ravens. I'm just trying to connect the dots here. So, the reason why I think the Jets should um, bring in Calais Campbell. Well, the defensive tackle all of a sudden is a gigantic hole on this team. We re-signed Solomon Thomas. We have Quinn Williams. But Sheldon Rankins is gone. Nathan Shepard is gone. So there's not a lot of defensive tackle depth. And the biggest reason why I want Calais Campbell is because he is a win-now player. He is a veteran that still has a lot of juice left in the tank. Last year, he had five and a half sacks. He had two forced fumbles, 36 total tackles. I mean, two... He, what he brings to the table is a veteran presence in that defense that will take the defense to another level. Now, is he past his prime? Yeah, you can argue that. But he is an established veteran that I think that would really add another dimension to the defense because he's a, a leader. He's someone that will galvanize the locker room. He's someone that a lot of players on this young defense like Sauce Gardner in the secondary and a lot of boys on the defense would look up to. Quinnen Williams will look up to Calais Campbell. And not to mention, last year, the Jets' defense... The one thing that they were not good at is stopping the run. Well, they were good at it, but they were that was something that was one of their weaknesses was stopping the run. And Calais Campbell, that's his specialty, stopping the run. And he also has those, you know, flashes of getting to the passer, having those power rush moves, and sometimes, you know, getting quarterback hits or sometimes even sacks. And but he does specialize in stopping the run. And it, when you look at this Jets defense, we're in win now mode. Last year the defense was spectacular, and we want this defense to be just as good as last year, or if not better. And I think Calais Campbell would be that player that can take this defense um, to another level, especially when the, from, from the perspective of a win-now move. Because we're in, the, we're in a win-now window with this New York Jets team when we finally get Aaron Rodgers, and Calais Campbell is going to want to go to a team that's going to go all in to win. And I think that this Jets team is one of those squads that veterans like Calais Campbell, that's at the end of his career, is going to be like, you know what? I'm going to want to go to the Jets on a one-year deal to try to go all in for the Super Bowl. Like, I think that's what this Jets team is starting to become. Yeah, I don't even know what I just said, guys. It's kind of mind-boggling, but it's true. Because this Jets team is becoming a win-now squad with Aaron Rodgers joining a team that everyone around the league knows that is a quarterback away with a top-five defense. And why wouldn't Calais Campbell want to pair up next to one of the best, if not the best, defensive tackles in football, that being Quinnen freaking Williams. So I think it's a no-brainer if the Jets can bring him in. And the reason why I also want to bring this up is because we heard that Fletcher Cox, when he re-signed with the Philadelphia Eagles, the New York Jets were interested in him. The Jets were one of the teams trying to get Fletcher Cox away from the Philadelphia Eagles to the New York Jets. Now, Fletcher Cox is another veteran in this league. That's a win-now move. So Calais Campbell's that next man up. In my opinion. And some people be like, nah, Richie, he's too old. I'd rather get young at that position. But at the end of the day, guys, we have Quinton Williams. He's our young superstar. We're hopefully going to extend him this summer. Why not pair him up for a win-now move with a guy who is an established veteran in this league that will galvanize his defense even more in the locker room. Everyone will be, you know, looking up to Clay's Campbell. He's a force at that defensive line. He is a, a warrior, and I want him in a Robert Sala defense. Let me know if you guys would like Calais Campbell on the New York Jets on a one-year deal. I sure as hell would. Let me know if you guys would, and if you don't, that's totally fine. Let me know your reasoning down below in the comments, and more importantly, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. With that being said, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Saturday, and let's go Jets. Peace out, everybody.